Hello and welcome to ACS Golf and this week's review where I'm looking at this. The Mizuno MP20 HMB irons. Now the reason I'm looking at these is because I think these are potentially a great option for somebody who wants a little bit more distance, a little bit more forgiveness, but still great feel and also obviously the looks you know, something that still looks like a blade, even though, don't get me wrong, this is a hollow construction iron, and also wants to save themselves a little bit of money because these are, like I said, the MP20 HMBs. You know, these came out back end of 2019, you know, technically the 2020 clubs also went into 2021 because Mizuno, with this range, released them every two years. You know, two models old now, you know, you've got the Mizuno Pros, Two two five uh, two four fives been released this year. You had two years ago the Mizuno Pros two two fives that were released, and the thing is because of that you can pick these up about thousand you know on the second hand market obviously for about a thousand pounds you know twelve hundred dollars less than if you were about to go and buy a brand new set of two four fives. And let's be honest, the looks haven't changed that much. I guarantee the technology and performance hasn't changed that much as well. You know, they never do over the past couple of years. So let's be honest, you know, the brand new one is definitely not worth a thousand pounds more than this. It might be still very good, obviously, because it is a Mizuno iron. But, you know, is it really worth a thousand pounds? Personally, I think it's better to go and get yourself potentially a set of these on the second hand market if you are looking for this type of iron. So, as always, what we're going to do is we're going to have a closer look at the club, come back here, go through all the technology that's in here, then get down to the course, actually, because I took this out to my, one of my local courses, Leatherhead, the other day, um, and then we'll come back in here for the ACS Golf Scout and give my overall feelings about this club. All right, let's have a closer look, let's be honest, at this absolute beauty. <music> So there you go, and what a good-looking club this is. I do have this all the way five to pitching wedge because if you watched my channel before, I did recently have these in the bag. I do wonder why I've actually taken them out. To be fair, um, they might have to go back in after the performances recently, since I've taken them back on the course to do the testing for you guys because they are absolutely lovely. Now MP20 HMB, where the HMB stands for Hot Metal Blade. We go into all the technology from these clubs. Like I said, you know, they're released back end of 2019, even though they're technically released in 2020, and then they ran into 2021 as well. Um, Mizuno was released their clubs every two years, so you had the um, Mizuno Pro this year, which will replace this MP20 lineup. Don't get me wrong, the MP actually standard for Mizuno Pro, but they decided to call it Mizuno Pro, um, actually on the club itself, and then you have your JPX every other year as well so in the end of this year you just had the um, mizuno pros like i said 24s come out this year at the end of this year you'll be starting to see the jpx next range which will be quite interesting to see to be fair to be released in 2025 i can imagine it'll probably be called jpx 925s if they're following the track of the names but anyway let's get into the technology that's in this club so if i read all the spiel off the mizuno website for you you know, the whole thing they say here is a new breed because this is the first time they brought this into their lineup. So full set of performance hybrid irons, which is that sort of hollow construction here, very much like the P790s, for example, and the sharp tool ready profiled. You know, the H MP20 HMB extends the concept right through to wedge. So this idea of long iron replacements on tour built upon the ball speed of Mizuno's chrome leaf face and neck supported by precision stainless steel body and tungsten weighting layered with a soft copper plating and protective nickel chrome for legendary feel and feedback you know the old saying nothing feels like a mizuno so continuing on this you have layers of feel so there you go so grain flow forged hd in hiroshima japan from 1025e pure select mild carbon steel then plated in soft copper and nickel chrome 
the original layering from Mizuno's great TN87 blade. So even though this is a hollow construction, you know, they're still talking about feel. You know, that's the thing about Mizuno. It's all about feel. You know, and personally for me, trying all these clubs that I've tried for this channel so far, definitely one of the best feeling out there. Even their woods, to be fair. If you've never tried their latest woods, do try them because they feel great. Moving on, we've got muscle back DNA, the proportions, top line, and offset transition from a classic Mizuno player's muscle back with generous soul with hidden address for consistent ball players pursuing added ball speed without sacrificing their shot making option. So there you go, and that really does describe what this club is, really. You know, it's that added distance, you know, added forgiveness, but you can still shape the ball really well. Mixes with any MP20 set, again, that's a whole thing, you know, it's very much nowadays progressive sets when it comes down to irons, you do find that, you know, you, you'll get a set and, you know, you'll be, all right, I really want some really good control, so I'll have the MP20s, for example, say eight downwards and then have these, say, seven going up to five or four, or, you know, even the MP20 M MMCs, have them, you know, again seven down to pitching wedge and then have this you know going from six up which is like a little bit extra distance and a little bit extra forgiveness so mixes with any mp20 set plays a full set long iron replacements or mix set with mp20 muscle backs or the mp20 mmc's are recommended recommended break points for blended sets of between four and five irons or seven and eight irons so there you go Complex loft specific construction, a multi thickness grain flow forged cromley, so two to eight iron face and neck is dialed in to be consistently hot across the club face. Twin 12 gram tungsten weights, which is in the six, so two to seven iron, so it'd be in this one, deliver stability and an easy launch. So you have them both here inside the club head. And a softer 1025E Pure Select Mole Calm Steel makes a short irons, nine to pitching wedge, soft and responsive. So still a little bit progressive set in themselves, to be fair there. You know, they do train change that construction, sorry, you know, when you get down to the scoring irons. And then finally, brass satin finish. So low glare and durable plated finish, which, to be honest, these have been in the bag. Well, they were in the bag last year for quite a while. They've been quite you know, gone through the ringers over here in the UK quite a bit, and you know, they still look pretty fresh. I mean, very fresh, if I might say so myself. Going into just to say about the loss, because if you're thinking about this iron, this is very comparable to say the TaylorMade P790 that was released in 2019, for example. You know, that hollow construction, this is very similar to that, but there's a difference. It's a P790 was built for distance, built for that little bit more forgiveness, you know, for you know, sort of your mid handicappers and downwards, or even your, your better high handicappers, your ball strikes. But they changed the loft, they de lofted the club to add to extra distance. With these MP20 HMBs, they haven't really done so. So the two iron is 16 degrees, the three iron is 19 degrees. 4 iron is 22 degrees, 5 iron is 25 degrees, 6 iron is 28 degrees, 7 iron is 32 degrees. So obviously, you know, not maybe 34, which is more traditional, still a little bit stronger than that, but not majorly so. 8 iron, 36 degrees, 9, 41 degrees, you know, that's one degree more than your sort of average, and pitching wedge, 46 degrees. So very much closer to your traditional loss compared to other hollow construction irons at the time and especially nowadays as well with the idea that you really can blend them with another set so the mmc's or just the mp20 blades you know and not have any problem with massive gaps in that distance so really good thing personally i think that mizuno have done when it comes down to making these irons you know they know you want that added distance but they understand that you still want that control you don't want the ball just shooting off, you know, because you might want to play these with other irons and you need to have that gapping there. So I think they've done a great job with that. Okay, so there's all the technology that is in these clubs. Let's get down to the course, show you some footage from there, go through the distances for the 5 iron, the 7 iron and the 9 iron, which I've taken. I do have distances for all of them, but I thought I'd just pick those three. Um, so I'll throw some of that to you guys and then we'll come back here and go through the ACS golf scale. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, now let's jump straight into those figures. So 
Remember, I'm doing the 9-iron, the 7-iron, and the 5-iron. So 5-iron for me, I want about 170 yards total distance plus. 7-iron around 160 plus, and 9-irons around 140 plus. So with the 9-iron, I had a flat carry of 138 yards, total distance 142 yards, ball speed 103 miles per hour, launch angle 23 and height 79. So pretty much spot on there, happy with that. The 7-iron had a flat carry of 163 yards, total distance 170 two yards ball speed 117 miles per hour launch angle 18 height 78 so a little bit more than i'd normally get but overall again happy with that and then the five iron i had a total carry of 171 yards uh, total distance 187 yards ball speed 123 miles per hour launch angle 13 and height 62 so again more than i'd expect but again very happy with it and overall you know there is quite a bit of rollout with this but i was really going for these clubs and really enjoying hitting them and having the confidence to be fair that i can really go at them to maximize distance so there you go and some really great figures there to be honest i think i know why because when it comes down to hitting clubs and stuff, it's about, you know, confidence and how fast you want to swing it, etc. And even though these clubs, you know, forgiveness wise, we'll get into that in a second. You know, I originally played the MP20 MMCs. And forgiveness wise, these aren't too much better than relatively the same. But because of their profile, because they're that hollow construction, for me, they just inspire confidence, which means I can really swing and really go for it which is why I've got some great results from this iron and why on the golf course as well, for example, that five iron, I can just really go for it. Yes, okay, I drew it a little bit too much, but I got it in the center and place. It got a great result from it. So as I've mentioned, you know, on average, I had 187 with the five iron, normally about, I want about 180. So they're actually rocket. My ball speed, 123 miles per hour. Great. My quickest being 126 miles per hour. Really happy with that. Eight iron, you know, uh, sorry, six iron there. I have eight iron on my on my spreadsheet, but it's definitely the six iron, you know, 172 yards on average. For me, that's pretty much exactly where I sort of want my, no, no, sorry, my seven iron. That's why I want my six iron. I've got my six iron in my hand. That's why my brain was going, you know, that's why I really want my six iron. So get my seven iron up there to 172. Again, really happy with that. A 9 iron, 142 on average, and only a four yard rollout. Again, really happy with that. You know, 9 iron, I'm looking for that 140 mark, really. So, again, happy with that. And one thing I will say about the 7 iron, 6 iron, 5 iron, even if I'm hitting the 5 iron, you know, 187 on average, my 4 iron goes 200. So, if anything, it actually brings it closer to that 5 iron. So, I have a little bit less of a gap, which, to be honest, makes me really happy. Going into distance, let's go into the ACS Golf Scale now. So remember, I've got five categories, distance, feel, looks, price, forgiveness, and I'll give you the average at the end. Actually, something new that I'm bringing in this video is to give you the average of all the results at the end. So you can keep track as the year goes on with all these reviews. Five being the best, one being the worst. Now, distance, you would think, all right, you've nailed it there. You've really gone for it. Great distance. You're going to give it a really high rating. And I do. So I give it a 3.5 out of 5. With these traditional lofts and everything, there's definitely more distance in the mp20 mmc so i reviewed do check out the channel for that by the way and i gave that a three so i give this a 3.5 but like i said i was swinging well maximum speed then with these clubs so i think on the course i'm a bit more reserved a little bit more constrained on tempo etc i'm not necessarily getting those distance because i don't want those distances but with my normal sort of swing I'm still getting 180 mark with five iron. I'm still getting the 170 with the six iron. Still getting around that 160 with the seven iron, you know. So for me, the distance is very good. So I'm getting it 3.5 out of five, but it's definitely not the longest club out there. This won't be as long as a P790 because, you know, obviously they've got their speed foam in there, but the loss is stronger. It's not going to be as long as a game improvement iron as well, say a JPX hot metal. So I think a 3.5, I think, is very good. For what this is, with its traditional loss, I think it has some great ball speed and some great distance. So give me a 3.5 out of 5, which I think is fair, even though the results on the day at the range was really swinging for it. It might you know, make you think, all right, it needs to be a little bit more. But I'd say, you know, I'm giving it a 3.5. I think that is fair. I want you guys, you know, if you pick this these clubs up, because I think this is a fantastic club, 
you know, you know that the distance isn't going to be huge, you know, just to bring you back a bit. Because <laughs> like I said, you know, for me, the confidence is if this cup is high, it means I can really go for it, which I did on the day. Going on to feel now. Feel, I give it a 4.5 out of 5. Even though it's a hollow construction, I still think it feels absolutely amazing. To be fair, I forgot how good these felt until I took them out the other day back on the course. And then straight away when I hit there, I think it was a 7 iron was the first one I hit. Oh, it just felt buttery soft, but yet powerful. Even though that sounds a bit weird, it just felt really, really nice. Don't get me wrong, if you miss the club, especially in the lower irons where that tungsten comes out, you feel it. You really do feel it, which I quite like. I like to be punished for a bad hit, to be fair. You know, and I do know if you miss around the face as well, you do know straight away that you've done a bad miss. But it's not, like I said, I like that. I do like it. I like to know that I've mucked up. You know, I don't want to be looking up in the sky going, oh, I think I hit that really well. Like you can get with some irons and just see it drop out of the sky. I like to know straight away, all right, I'm in trouble here. So 4.5 for me with feel. You know, and when it comes down to workability, these are great. Fade it, draw it, etc. You can do it. Um, are these workable as a normal complete blade? No, but remember, these are a hollow construction. Looks, I'm giving it a five out of five. I think they are beautiful. They really do look like a blade. You know, this is exactly the same looks as the MP20, to be fair. It's just a little bit chunkier, but not too chunkier. For me, it gives you that option of inspiring a bit more confidence in the club, but definitely does not look too big behind the ball. Looks, for me anyway, perfect. So five out of five. You now Mizuno, especially when it comes down to this Mizuno Pro lineup, I think make gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous clubs. Even the JPXs, to be fair, I think in their own right, are beautiful clubs as well. So looks, five out of five. Now let's get on to forgiveness. So as I mentioned with this, the MP20 MMCs, you know, uh, basically very similar when it comes down to the forgiveness. The whole point of these clubs over the MMCs is to give you that little bit more distance. I gave the MMCs a 2.5 out for forgiveness out of 5. I'm going to give this as well 2.5 out of 5. However, I definitely think there's a little bit more forgiveness in here over the MP20 MMCs. I 100% do. Um, I remember one of the shots that I showed you guys, you know, hit it low on the face, you know, pretty much bladed it, and it still managed to roll out and get onto the, you know, just actually, was it pin high or was it just right to the pin? Should have putted it for birdie, and I did miss the putt, unfortunately, and it walked off with par, but it still got me onto that green on that par three. I will add, though, hit another shot on it where I hit it clean, and it did clear the green, so it was about five to ten yards in it, but it still definitely got plenty enough forgiveness for you if you're a good ball striker you know you're still going to get the ball to where you want to go but it is still this sort of bladed type iron it's what i would call a you know distance or what they called a distance players iron there you go you know which is very popular at the moment and a lot of um, you know a lot of companies do that you know that distance players irons Give you that added distance but still the same workability etc etc so forgiveness 2.5 out of 5 i think there is some really good forgiveness in here for what it is but just be aware of that you know if you want to go down the mizuno route when it comes down to forgiveness and you want that added added forgiveness you know if you wanted just a little bit more then you can look at a jpx forged range you know 919 it's 919s yes which is the year before this or you know 921s or 923s etc um, or, you know, if you want even more, you can look at the Hot Metal Pro, or even more than the Hot Metal, which is very much a game improvement iron for, for Mizuno JPX. So do be aware of that. Now, on to price. Now, I actually changed the price here. The reason I put it as 3.5, but I changed it to 4 out of 5, because, don't get me wrong, you know, if you're looking on second-hand markets over here in the UK, such as Golf Bidder, you know, five to pitch and wedge in good condition, don't get me wrong, you're looking at £480, you know, just under $600 on eBay, five to pitch and wedge, you're looking under that £400 mark, so, you know, you know, under that sort of $500 mark on eBay. And when it comes down to, though, the P790s, same condition off Golf Bidder, for example, you know, same year, so go for the nine, uh, the 2019 version. 2020 so same year whatever this out you know comparing them 
you know, you're looking at 513 pounds, a little bit more, so $640. So these are definitely, in my mind, a little bit cheaper than tailor-made, don't have as much distance, but I definitely think the feel, the looks are superior to that tailor-made P790. Some of you might disagree with me. And yes, you're still looking at £400, you know, $500 to pick up a set of these second hand in good condition and in good condition, you know, if you want the four iron, etc. you're looking at more, but you're still saving yourself over a thousand pounds, over $1,200. If you're going out to buy Mizuno Pro two, two, five, two, four, five, sorry, two, four, five brand new. And even if you're looking at the two, two, fives, you know, you're still saving yourself about £400, $500 by going for this. And it's really, for look-wise, I don't think there's much difference. You know, for performance-wise, again, I don't think there'll be much difference. So that's why I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Because I think if you're looking for this type of iron, you want a Mizuno, you want decent, you know, well, well, really good feel, a decent amount of forgiveness, and some good distance, they are a great option. Same as the MP20 MMCs, you know, and even the MP20 if you're looking for blades. You know, that's why I'm giving it four out of five. And also with Mizuno, they don't lose their value. They tend to hold their value as a club. So even if you didn't get on with these, you could sell them six months down the line and maybe lose 50 pounds, 60 pounds. So that's why I've given it a four out of five. And so overall, it's got an average of 3.9. I will give you there. So 3.9 overall. Anything I think above 3.5 is very nice. The only reason this is falling down is because of the forgiveness. I will, however, say there are a lot of options out there. If you want similar club, so similar forgiveness, distance, but you're not too worried about it being a hollow construction, you know, Callaway Apex 21, Titleist T200 from 2019, Wilson D9 Forged, you know, Titleist T100S from 2019, probably a little bit less forgiveness than this, but still good distance. And then Cobra King Forged Tech Iron, which is actually another hollow construction iron. So there are plenty of other options out there, similar price and maybe a little bit cheaper if you're not really caring about going for that Mizuno brand. But overall, this is an amazing club. Personally, I think it's great. And I'm very, very tempted to put it back in the bag instead of the Nikes. As much as I'm enjoying the Nikes, I just forgot how good these really are. All right, guys. There you go, another review done for the channel and a long one because, as I say, if it's ever a long review, it's because I really like what I'm reviewing, which is the case here. Um, do give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Remember to comment down below, you know, have you played Mizuno's before? Which irons do you play if you have or have played them? You know, let me know down below because I'm really interested to, think, to know Sorry, what your feelings are about Mizuno. And also remember to subscribe to the channel, guys, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out weekly ACS golf reviews and a few extra videos thrown in from time to time. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video again, and I'll catch you soon for the next ACS golf video. Bye-bye.